conditioning steps. Hey people, thanks for coming back to my subscribers. Thank you for all the support, the likes, the shares, the comments. So if you're new to this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. And we're gonna go right into it. Step one, grab your preferred conditioner, moisturizing or protein, etc., and pour some in your bowl. For added nutrients, you can add your favorite penetrative oil in your conditioner bowl and mix it in with a mixing utensil of choice or just your finger. <laughs> product so I'm gonna put that little extra product on my hair <laughs> step two clip the rest of the hair away and place a plastic cap over the sections you are not dealing with for now to retain moisture as with most natural woolly hair moisture tends to escape quickly grab two of your preferred sections and unbraid the two sections if you have been following our previous 5 easy shampoo steps, your hair should already be in braided or twisted sections from shampooing. The sections will help better manage your hair. Braiding or twisting the hair while shampooing lessens tangles, which lessens hair loss and breakage. Step 3. Make two sections with clean parts all around. Then clip one section away under your plastic cap. The clean parts will lessen breakage and snagging during the detangling process. Step four, grab the uncovered section and start to condition. You may have to unbraid or untwist sections nearest the section you are about to condition. Be sure your parts are clean to lessen painful snagging while finger detangling and or comb detangling. Now that you have cleaned up the section, start to condition by applying or smoothing the conditioner near your scalp, then to the shaft or body of your hair, and then to the ends. Be sure to do so generously. Especially if you have dense hair, make subsections to really make sure every strand has conditioner applied to it. Smoothing the conditioner in your hair strands also help with detangling. Step 5. Massage the section of hair with conditioner and finger detangle thoroughly. Smooth your product in to ensure every strand is being conditioned, thus helping your detangling process. If needed, use a comb or Denman brush to detangle more thoroughly. The shed hair you see when you are all done with the conditioning steps will decrease after it penetrates for some time and rinsed out. It is normal to lose an average of 35 to 40 hairs per day. Breakage is another story. Breakage indicates negative workings of our hair and or scalp, which also can indicate inner bodily issues. We will speak more of this in a later video. I like to thoroughly detangle my hair, so I take my time. This is probably the longest uh, process in my hair regimen is the conditioning process. This is where I take my time and detangling the hair. I took my uh, smaller tooth comb to get a even more thorough detangle. So this is optional. Step six, add more conditioner, then twist that detangled and conditioned section. You will notice the more conditioner we add, the more slip we gain, or in other words, the more our tangles melt away. Twisting our hair will help with maintaining the hard work of detangling intact while we deal with the remaining sections of hair. When our natural woolly hair is free and untwisted, it has a tendency to shrink up and tangle. Grab the small section you put away and repeat steps four to six. Repetition, repetition, repetition. <laughs> At this time, you could be watching a movie, you could be watching your favorite show, you could be calling up your girlfriend, catching up on life, or you could be watching me. <laughs> and we could do our hair together. Yay. <laughs> 
and the products that I'm using I will list them down below in the description box just in case you want to check them out some of the products are in the beauty supply store and some are in other stores that you can purchase not everything I do will work for you but um, you can use it as a guide so like I said before this this can be a little a little tedious and repetitive so you want to make sure you ate something before you start your hair you want to make sure you're not tired because you can easily rush through this and really do some damage to your hair by being rough and um, going too fast not taking your time so really take care of yourself before you start your hair okay and even if you're doing your child's hair really make sure you're, you're you have energy <laughs> As you can see, I have different curl patterns in my hair. The front of my hair is the most loose curl pattern that I have. I'd say it's about a 3C to a 4A. I would have to say it's the most uh, manageable. The first section that I did is the most woolly. Step seven, apply steps two to six for the rest of your hair. Routine, routine, routine. Okay, and sometimes you may have to unbraid the sections that are nearest that section to really uh, clean up that part. And the shampoo process of scrub a dub dubbing, some of the strands went to say hello to the other strands in them. <laughs> so you want to kind of have to separate them and clean them up. Because that can cause breakage and we don't want that. Now the conditioner that I'm using is not a deep conditioner. It's more so a rinse out conditioner. That is more so for detangling. And that's very important for, uh, for this type of hair. Now, if you want some more thorough understanding on just conditioning, the conditioning process, you definitely want to go and head over to naturalwilly.com where there's some awesome informative blogs over there. Remember, conditioner doesn't heal our hair or um, reverse damage, but it does reconstruct it. It does um, help the appearance and give a temporary fix. So if you have split ends and a product says that it helps you with split ends, that's a lie. It only does it for temporarily. So what you wanna do is trim that hair. So in the future tutorial, we can show you how to trim hair. So stay tuned for that. Step eight. Once you're all done with steps two to seven, place a heating cap plastic cap or grocery plastic bag over your head. The natural heat that will accumulate from your scalp with the plastic material will help your conditioner of choice penetrate through your hair shaft. This heat will help your conditioner penetrate towards your hair cortex. You can even use a sit down hair steamer or heating system if you own one to speed up the process. This is optional. Step 9. Place a pretty head wrap or scarf that you don't mind getting oily or wet on top of the plastic material on your head. I have a turvy and twist. Check out the beauty supply store to see if you would like something like this. And this just helps uh, kind of seal in all that moisture and conditioner. And sometimes I put this over it just to be extra, but you don't have to. <laughs> Okay, okay. Step 10, go on about your day to let it marinate for as long as the conditioner bottle says to leave it in before rinsing or sleep with it overnight. You're all done. Great work. <laughs> so this is my shed hair. Not bad for a week's worth of hair. Okay, remember 35 to 40 hairs a, a day you lose, which is normal. We're back! <laughs> 
To rinse out your conditioner, simply start with a section from the top of your hair, unravel the twist, and rinse the conditioner out with warm water to open your hair cuticles to prep for a moisturizing process. Starting at the top will also help rinse out the bottom parts of the hair so that you will not spend as much time as you will with the top sections. Be sure to massage and scrub away the conditioner from your scalp with the pads of your fingers while holding the end of that section of hair taut or tightly. Massage your strands in a downward motion to keep your hair detangled at all times. Then twist it back up and repeat the same process with the rest of your twists. Great work. <laughs> Don't forget to check out our beautiful conversation pieces at our apparel store at naturalwoolly.com. Also, we thank you and appreciate your support for those that have visited the beauty supply store recently for your hair product needs. And feel free to join the Natural Woolly Hair community on our social media outlets. Thanks again for stopping by and taking the time out to watch this video. We hope that you learned something today. And also please comment below and let us know how these steps are helping you, if at all. Thanks for sharing our content. And if you're new, feel free to subscribe and click that bell so that you'll never miss a video and you'll get instant notifications. Okay, people. Until next time, take good care of yourself. Thanks for watching. Peace and blessings.